Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another autumn leaf tutorial. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. You could also ask me anything in the comments. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing because I will post twice a week such videos and you will be inspired often and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro and go to the work itself because I have timestamps but I just have a few words to say. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. They are dark green, light green, yellow, orange and black. And here I'm using only 2 seed beads which are size 8 o. I attach my earring findings and jump rings to them uh, but uh, if you want you could make a loop out of seed beads and skip these two beads if you don't have this size and here I'm using earring findings and jump rings this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice but don't use soft nylon thread because for this work it won't be appropriate and here I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors and the flat nose pliers I used to attach my earring findings to my work. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And what I'm going to pick up first guys are 12 of these beautiful green beads. Okay and I have 12 Oops, I took 13, but now I have 12 on my needle, 3 times 4, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here, what I want to do is make a knot, and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, then pull gently like this. And then make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, then I will go through some beads in this direction. And now I have this beautiful circle of beads. Now what I'm going to pick up are two light green beads, one black and two light green beads okay this is what i have and as i'm exiting here i'm skipping the bead that's on my way and i'm going through the following and i pull i will take the same sequence skip the one that's on my way and go through the following Okay, like this. And one more time. Okay, now guys, I have this and here I'm going to do a different thing. I'm going through this middle of the three beads that I have left here. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going through the middle one and I'm going to take two green beads. I go back like this. Go through the first one. Then I will take two more. Okay. 
ok now guys i have this this is called herringbone stitch now in my next step what i want to do is reach here next to the black bead but i'm not going through it i'm going through these two light green beads and i'm going to pick up two yellow beads one black and two yellows okay this is what i have skipping the black one and going through the green then what i want to take here is one yellow bead and i'm going in the next green okay and i'm going to repeat these two yellows one black and two yellows skip the top and go through the green after that then i'm taking just one yellow bead and going from the out inside to the outside through this next light green bead okay i take the same sequence and i skip the black here and go through the following okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay and now as i'm here i will take one yellow bead i will go through this last green bead and here i'm going to add two rows of herringbone stitch taking two beads going like this And now I will go here in the same place through three green beads and I'm going to add just one yellow and go here in the light green the second light green like I did before now what i do is that i go through these two yellow beads and i'm going to take two orange one black two orange okay and i skip the one at the top and go through the yellow now i take orange yellow and orange like this and i go here in the yellow then i take the same sequence here skip here the black and go in the yellow then again orange yellow orange and go through this yellow here then again two orange one black and two orange skip the top and go through the first yellow orange yellow orange okay and i will continue this until the end
Okay, and here at this step, I need an orange and a yellow. And I will go here in this green, in the third green counting from here. Then here I will add two rows of herringbone stitch. Okay, and now I go through three beads in this direction. Okay. And now I will take the same yellow and orange. And I will go here between those two yellows or in the second yellow. Okay. Now I have this. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going through these two orange beads. And I will take again two orange, one black, two orange. Going like this. Okay, and I'm taking one orange and two yellow beads like this. And I'm going in this central yellow of the three that I added in my previous row. Okay. Now I take two yellows and one orange, just the opposite, because I'm going in the other direction. I go in the second orange here, or next to this top black bead. And I need again the same sequence. And I skip this black and go like this. Then I take again three beads. First I start with orange and then I take two yellows. Next to the orange is orange and next to the yellow is yellow. This is how you could remember it. Okay. Now the other way around, two yellows and one orange because next to the yellow is yellow and next to the orange is orange. Okay guys and I think you got the, the idea and you could continue this until here and when I'm up to there I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay now three three five three three five okay see you in a while okay guys and as i'm here as i continue the same way i'm taking one orange and two yellows the same sequence but here i have only two beads and i'm going through this yellow Okay, so now what I want to do is go in this direction and add two more rows of carrying bone stitch. Now, what I want to do is exit out of this yellow bead here. And I will take two yellows and one orange. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going in the same place as before. In this orange before the black one. Okay, this is the second orange counting from here. Then I will go through these two orange beads. And now I will make my final row here. And how I make it, I take uh, four of these beautiful orange beads, four of them. I slide those down. 
and I skip this one and go through the second of these four in this direction, in the opposite direction. And now I'm just pulling through it. Okay, now I have this. Then I will need two orange beads. Skip the black and go here through this orange. And in my next step, as I'm exiting here, I'm going to take three seed beads. Slide those down. And again, I'm going through the second of those three in the other direction. And then I will take two more. And I'm going in the first yellow. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm taking a black one and go here in this yellow. And this time I'm taking four beads. Okay, this time four. Slide down. Skip this one at the end and go through the second pull. And take just one bead. And go here in the last orange. Okay, then I will start over four beads, slide down, skip the last one and go through the second as I did before and as I'm always doing. Take two, go here. Now take three, three this time. If you don't find the logic behind it, just follow the steps. Three, skip the, the last one and go through the middle one. I'm sorry. Just like this and then two. And go here in the last yellow. Take one black and go in the other yellow. And this time I take four and then one. Four skip the last one and go through this the second okay and then take one so the sequence is four two three two four one if you forgot how i'm doing it just start Rewind the video from here and start 4 2 4 and 2 Then three two and four one okay if you don't get it just rewind and repeat this sequence up to here and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here almost at my last step i just added four now i need to add two then mine in my next step there are three two three Two, 
to in the last yellow then what I want to do is go here in the green beads and I would like to add the last green here which will be Ato and where I will attach my earring finding okay here I am I'm taking the the Ato the green Ato I'm going through it if you don't want to use green Ato uh, just make a loop of small beads and this is where you will be attaching your clasp your earring finding sorry okay now I will make a reinforcement and after the reinforcement what I want to do is go here through all of those beads I want to go through these three yellow beads and what I want to take here are four beads slide down go through the second of those four and then one and go here and now I'm going to make a knot by making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and pull then I'm going in the following seed bead and what I want to do is cut my thread now guys my earring is almost ready but I need to attach my earring findings and how I do this I open up this jump ring I put it here then I put my earring finding and I squeeze back just like this and now I have my earring ready okay guys and now my autumn leaf seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself you will be inspired often usually twice a week you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook or instagram pages posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from